You are now tuned in to the motherfucking Ambition Hour podcast on Worth the Weight Radio. You ready? Dub T, motherfucking dub, ho. Yo, and welcome to the Ambition Hour podcast. This is your girl, Claudia Renee, on your airwaves. And this is episode 124. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. laughs> Finally! <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yay. Thank you guys so much and welcome to the Ambition Hour podcast. I am your host, Claudia Renee, and I am so happy to be here. And I am so happy because it's not a solo episode. I am not by myself. If you are watching us on YouTube, you guys can see I'm not by myself. But if you're listening to us, wherever you listen to us, thank you. Um, I'm letting you know that I'm not alone and I'm bringing back a couple of podcast favorites hey so hello first we have mighty sunshine on the uh, on the board Ooh. hey mighty hello. sunshine How the sun is of shine <laughs> then we have spitz fire coming in spitteroonie yeah. the spitster oh. <laughs> also known as mcnasty on the weekends <laughs> and then we also have hob six honey yes it is i i be and him and him be and i i love con- <laughs> so yes everybody thank you so much for tuning in yet again to another episode of this beautiful podcast that we call the ambition hour podcast um i appreciate each and every single one of you for tuning in every single week um you are appreciated and i'm going to start the episode like how i always start the episode and it is by saying what are you grateful for so guys what are we grateful for this week mighty sunshine you're first Ooh. Okay, so this has been long coming, but I am freaking grateful to be on an episode with Spitz. Hey. <laughs> Finally, we clashed. Oh, cheers, 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 cheers. We cheers. got these, these two together. These uh, demons, if you will. So, yes, that's what I'm grateful for. Facts. Mischievous children. Spitz, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful to be here with everybody right now <laughs> i'm gonna be honest because like I, I haven't been on the episode in so long and like um yeah more than three months for sure <laughs> <laughs> believe that. i'm gonna be honest with y'all like i'm glad to be here so um yeah that's what I'm it feels for. like nice to be somewhere that's not work or home yo or with the masks oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep that mask. i'm grateful for honest people you know uh <laughs> that are direct you know and up front you know, because, uh, shit, you know, there's more people got to be like that sometimes and got to, you know, I, li- I like that with strong perspectives. Only if I'm fucking with it, though. So chill with that hate shit. Chill with that hate shit. But, like, <laughs> but yeah, I'm grateful for that. And Claudia. <laughs> I am grateful for another year of life. Aw, um, shit. She got the best Happy birthday, birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Damn, bro, you're killing it, though, man. You know, you no, not really. In. Yeah. Not really. Not really. You got that R&B, um, you got that note. Yeah. That R&B. R&B? Just R&B a little bit. <laughs> Practicing on a low. <laughs> Let me find out, bro. Let me uh-huh. find out. But yeah, I'm grateful for another year of life because obviously, like, we were talking about, well, this week was my birthday. Last week was the birthday episode. This week is the aftermath of the birthday. Mm. So, uh, obviously, and there's... there was aftermath. Yeah, and there... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, um, it was just really um, nice. Like, the whole night, um, which we'll get into a little later, was really dope. But my whole thing is just, like, just me, period. Like, I'm just so grateful for another year of life and, like being because it's a privilege i feel to just even see 31 and Facts. so to just have that like is so <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah my bad. you know that means you, you got, you got a, a billion minutes on earth though yes 31. oh shit you're right yeah that is a cool fact really? yes he's been saying <laughs> yeah. that for a minute too i'm glad you remember you that fun fact yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so i was going to hit it on your birthday too. you know Tell what i mean me. i was going no but you know um let you live in the moment but 31 i feel like um it's to me all hype yeah it's not like i don't know whatever they tell you about the 30s is is, is a lie just 30 is a new i feel 20? like it's just awesome yeah i just feel like it's awesome what do you think they told you what do you mean um like the, well, what's the, the well basically um growing up for me like 31 was yeah. for yeah for 31 was always just like oh you have your own place you have you know your own mm. family you have your own like you married know you have your, married with okay. kids okay. like about that was 30, yeah like that exactly Brackhead. do you think Lie. that's something or that he- like um makes uh like um people that aren't there like um kind of like insecure or like uh depressed mm. going to like a depression right Definitely. because because of society like uh, expectations, expectations. Mm-hmm. you're right i'm sorry I-, I was gonna say something wrong but <laughs> expectations, that's perfect 
we in yeah there. no definitely i definitely feel like it, it um because that's something that i struggled with in my early like my late 20s i'm sorry like in my late 20s like when i was like 28 years old like i remember going through a transition where i felt like i just wasn't where i would i needed to be for the age that i was and then it wasn't until then that like through the conversations that i had with the people that like i just look up to so much they were able to just be like listen like it doesn't matter that you're not there like everybody's mm -hmm. story is very different so yeah. don't be so hard on yourself and Correct. so now that i'm that now that i turned 31 for me it was just like all those expectations that were brought upon me at one point they no longer hold me back yeah so, um speaking on the coin the coin side or the flip side on that is almost the self expectations right oh by 22 i'll do this or by 20 yeah. this um i'll, I'll do yeah. that i'll have that I'll, but it I'll, goes I'll back to that. what society expects from you too right i mean yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> at least like where they suspect you to be right or where yeah. you ought to be or where you think you should be or or looking to the right and left sometimes that we get caught up in yeah. to our peers and seeing where they're at are you kidding me? Exactly. I had a conversation with my aunt the other day. First things first, I don't go on Facebook. You guys know that. Um, for those that don't know, I don't go on Facebook. It's not an app that I really use all the time. It's something that I just go like for birthdays to say thank you. Right. And so I hadn't checked Facebook on my birthday because that's where the, the majority of my aunts and like the, everybody says happy birthday to me. Mm -hmm. So my aunt is on the phone with my mom, right? And she's like, oh, tell her that I left a comment on her Facebook, right? And then so I grabbed the phone and I'm like, hey, Thea, like excited to talk to her. Like, you're already on the phone with my mom. Like, let's just talk to each other. And then like within the conversation, she ends up telling me, number one, where are my, gra where, where, where are my sister's grandkids, basically? And then the sec other part was just like, oh, why haven't you responded to my Facebook comment? <laughs> Oh, Lord. We are social on the media. phone right now. Oh, <laughs> like, Lord, yo, media. I will say like oh, Lord, my, <laughs> say my that one mom. More time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> my bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was waiting for him to say it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said it the one more time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I was gonna say is like that, like our parents and like their relative generation around them. Yo, they use Facebook like. It's like experts. Instagram. Yeah, they're they, better and they, at it than me now. <laughs> Are your yeah, parents really on it? I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I hate Facebook, but it is an <laughs> old people's app. Like, just like she said, like, no lie, they know how to use it better than us. I and they'd yeah, be I like, know. it, like, so she say, like, like when you said that, I'm laughing because I'm thinking, like, damn, my my aunt was yeah. saying the same thing. Like, <laughs> did you accept my request? Yeah. <laughs> like, the what request? I'm like, what request? I don't I even know. My Facebook password. Yeah, like, Facebook. my Facebook password. <laughs> you didn't like, allow that tag. You ain't got Instagram. Get out of here. Like, Twitter. Bro. Oh, and like, then the generation <laughs> under us. Is like you don't have a TikTok. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, TikTok. they killed me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My they... my niece has been sorry about that, but my niece has been sending me because she has a phone now. Like shout out to my niece, she has a phone now. Like both of my nieces, like and what? they text me, and she's been texting me crazy TikToks, and I'm just like, wow, these this like I well, hey, bro, we need to get on TikTok. That's all I need. <laughs> that's that's uh, yeah. I need you to sharpen up my dance moves. Already on TikTok. You know, I haven't done a minute. I haven't mine. done a I haven't done a video in a minute, but you know. Oh yeah, Kylie was going low key viral on TikTok before and it was I TikTok. <laughs> oh, on my hot. Instagram. Um, what something that that I stumbled upon is that you know how sometimes um with social media, especially I feel like Instagram and Twitter, you go through like different emotions as far as the app goes. Yeah. Like you know because sometimes it's too much. It's 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 a it's obsessive or like sometimes we feel the need to like take social media breaks. Have you guys ever thought that maybe like these older people like they experience that as well? Huh. I mean, damn, I'm experiencing that because, like, I don't know if you guys know, but I've just been off social mean? media. What do you mean? Like, what, what, you know what how, you know, exactly. like, like experience do they, ex they need that separation. Yeah, like, do they this need is that too much. separation. This is too much. Um, I don't do know, they even get into, people, like, the... Built, they, they used to, they're used to watching the news, so they're built you know, to, like... To... You, you, you mean from, like, um, they need oh, separation from social media? Yeah, or like, do like they, something specific on social media? Do you think they ever feel the need to be, like, I need to be off of Facebook for, like, two weeks? Oh, you mean, like, how we think? Yeah. Hell no. Hell no! Nah. Like they ain't thinking about that shit. Like, cause like they they have like that time on their hands. Like for us, we trying to like uh, get so somewhere funny. and trying to like do something different. You know, my like, like, my dad was saying that like like because the other day i was like mom i'm like you realize how much hours you spend on facebook and then i went on her phone and i actually checked and i told her and then how many hours was it <laughs> let's not talk about it no, 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 no. Well, we gotta, where else are we gonna talk about I'm it telling you i think it was like it was like, like, it was like no 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 it no? wasn't that bad it was like Six? in the sixes yeah it Six. ranged in the prior week it ranged in the sixes and Man, i'm like imagine the nasty shit you see in six hours in facebook in a day but, they're getting, they're getting but, a lot no, of hours. but what i was gonna say is that like 
I, I showed her, I'm like, mom, look how much time you spend on social media. I'm like, don't you ever feel like you need to separate from that? And then my dad barges in and he's like, she's tired. She's not going to want to go and like, and work out like you do after, after mm, you get out of work, you yeah. know, she's going to want to like chill at home mm. and like scroll. <laughs> <laughs> they're older they they yeah, they, like they, they, have that they worked already right. they worked and they, they gotta did, relax yeah, they is, got is that, yeah, yeah, they, they it's like how you said though it's like because the one of the reasons why we decided to take a social media break is mainly because we feel that we can be channeling that energy into something that's going to make us better I feel like the older generation doesn't they think of that. that. Yeah, they, they they're comfortable. With, they're comfortable in their job. They're you know they're complacent to where right. you know their life right. is how their life is going they ain't to trying end. Trying to get nobody. Yeah. So if you they ain't ever trying to, try to worry nobody. how to get old, you know, for you youngins out there, quote unquote, if you want to know how to get old, doing exactly that is going to get you there faster. Of like yeah. just being complacent, being comfortable, <laughs> not wanting to work out, not wanting to do shit. Their, their um like their mindset is something that like us young us young generation should be taken because like how you say like it would get us farther further you mm. know like so like um shout out to them for um you know giving facebook all the advertisement money facts <laughs> delete your facebook <laughs> they're listening to you dog they're listening facts. to us right now and i'm not talking facts. about just on the podcast networks um <laughs> ambition hour podcast <laughs> million views <laughs> yes, um so this past week since i did say that it was um my my birthday this past week um we all got to spend some time together that's right, and that's right. It, was it was good it was good vibe. we had a taco party um and shout we out to my sister six feet apart oh, we <laughs> weren't but i Tacos felt like fire. we were very it yeah it was fine and i feel like um i don't we're know made, we're more closer now yeah i don't i don't know if like um if if any of you guys have been in a, a situation like that anytime like recently have you guys ever been in a group like that it that wasn't was, that many people no. it was you like know, less you, you, than 15 if i'm not mistaken you know what you're saying because like i listen to sports radio like 24 7 damn there <laughs> and like they always talk about like oh like um when is the next time you're going to be in like a public sitting and uh, around uh, amongst the um like uh, uh people uh, civilization uh, yeah, amongst the people um, <laughs> social uh, crowds right. social, yeah right. there it um is. and i never really thought about it because i've been ubering going to work and when I go to work, obviously I'm not around a lot of people, and I just thought when I was like there at your uh, your, your birthday bash, see I said the bash. But, you know, it was a Taco it, Tuesday facts. party. We need LeBron for the advertisement. <laughs> um, but I was thinking about that, like when I when we were smoking, and I was like, damn, you know what? This is crazy. I'm I've really been around people like I've even smoked with like real. new people in a while. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and and it, it didn't it didn't bother me or nothing like that when I hear people, you know, saying like things like, Oh, they're it's scared, scared and they don't yeah. want to come out and stuff like that. And it, it made me re- really feel like I was around people that I can trust and stuff like that. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's the, the that's the blessing part of it. But also, um I don't know, I felt like it was good even for like mental health wise, it's just like being around people. I've been seeing either my family or my work or my or my work or like things on the timeline and then like yeah being around people just talking shooting the shit being able to like touch you know hug and like kind of even like embracing each other not even when you worry about it yeah like being more normal i guess but shit was getting real but, shit was getting real but shit is still shit is still real though you know what shit i mean shit like, is very real i mean you still have to go when you go anywhere you have to be very careful oh, yeah. i feel um i went to the store yesterday and today and it was just, di- you know, it's different when you go to the store now. Like you, yeah, you have to have a it, mask on. You have to have a mask on, huh? Oh, there's a segue. There's a segue. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> Murphy's law. Murphy's law. Oh, the martial law. Martial law. Martial law. Martial law. Um, martial law yeah. Martial. So no, but definitely, like it, it, in the beginning, like it, for, at first, it was spooking me <laughs> to the point where I was just like, "Holy shit, people are really wearing, wearing masks yeah. out here!" Like it, it become, it starts people to become being real. Complacent, and they're following what. Our that, government is telling us around what time everyone thought it was real. Like mm-hmm. at first, you was it was bullshit to you. I know everybody thought it was bullshit. So when, like, how many months, weeks, days did it take for you individually to say to yourself, like, "Yo, oh shit, this shit is real." Like, how many here? people do you have to see die? Ooh. I mean, honestly, at first, it, I know? was very, I was very scared. You know what I mean? Like, or well, not scared, like just a little shook. Like, but fuck, not man, this everybody's is... like that. You yeah. know, there's well, people out there still that think that is not real. Yeah, well, I'm a little bit more relaxed about it, but like, well, um, well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, give a specific, like, um, like time frame. Like, time frame is what I mean. When uh, when I thought it was very serious, or facts, like when you when you said to yourself, like, "Oh shit," like. 
damn, like this is this is I, really I, real. For me, when I I knew it was real, <laughs> to be honestly speaking, when Disney got shut down because I was at Disney. You see that that's a. So yeah, then when response. I'm at Disney and I'm like, Mine's this Idris Elba, that's why I'm dying. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, like, shit, man, I've got Idris. <laughs> that man's healthy as a whistle. <laughs> oh, well, I, I'll tell you mine. Last. I tell you mine. <laughs> he is. I love when he was on The Office. That's the other thing, too. Like, now I'm like wondering why was I so mad? Why was I so mad that Idris Elba was the one that got me But not only him, too, but like with Tom Hanks. Right. I was like, not you got Woody. It's like, yo, shit's real. Both of you guys said you got a me. You Woody. You just experienced your first. Like, come on. I think um I think for me it was like cause I work at the airport and like um when I seen cause like I when I first got out there at the airport it was like nonstop flying flying I couldn't even make a phone call you know what I'm talking about like yeah. I'll, I'll be talking to him and like I couldn't even run a conversation with him like because of how many planes was flying out when I knew shit was real <laughs> when I was having conversations with people and it dawned on me I was like no one was hanging up <laughs> hold on I'm not really hanging up the phone right now and I can't I can we hear can have a steady the conversation person I'm talking to like. That and I seen all of the planes that was out mm. on the airport, and, that, and I was like, "Oh shit! Like this shit is really real." Like, cause I'd leave work and it'd be like I'd I'd get home in ten minutes, and I live in like West Kendall. Mm. Like, so it's, it, it was, and I'm coming. Yeah, from when the there airport. was no traffic, yeah, traffic. Oh, that was shit like, got like, spooky. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Like, or that, that, when you had the, to be home, like when right. you had to be home by like ten, and then you did go if you ever went out, like nothing you can hear you can see the sawdust rolling down the <laughs> yeah road. no it was intense <laughs> you know what's funny is that you mentioned the whole thing about the airport um that's how you knew that it was real for us when it's a hurricane and my dad is like oh <laughs> ain't no flights coming out today or like Fair for no the next shit. couple days hey, you're like that shit oh shit hit. that shit about to hit y'all boys hit. better take cover <laughs> player what knows yeah what about, you, what, what about you when did you think it was like real or uh kind of Major like your real moment, like you, when you really realized. I it, think yeah. like my parents were out of town when we got like the whole notice about not uh, about you got to stay home kind of thing. And you're on the toilet when this happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bruh. No, my parents oh, okay, were okay. like literally not. In, they were in another country and they were flying home, and I was like really worried. And I had to. And my mom told me she's like. Like, Marilis, go to the grocery store and buy, like, st- stock up on this, like, buy this. And, and I was like, hi, mom, relax. That was me. I'm like, it's fine. Like, we'll be fine. Like, you're not going to run out of toilet paper. Yeah, we have four like... rolls of toilet paper. I think I'm good for about four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, have, I don't plan to go on a mass shitting so spree. So then, <laughs> I went to the grocery God, stores. The I saw, like, so many people there. And then, like, when I realized that, I was like, okay, like, this is serious. Like, mm. Right, I went right, to three right. grocery stores the three following days, but it's all good. Like, that was, like, my realization. And, nice. like, the fact that my parents, you know, they had to come back. And, like, it was a worry. Yeah, I was on the toilet when uh when that Aldrich news hit me. Oh, so that's why, that, 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 that's why I was that's I thought she was going to be able to relate to okay, me. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, but no I, jumped, I jumped the gun there. I jumped the gun there. No problem. No, no problem. All right. So <laughs> like, how, like how Hal said, this was a good transition into the conversation that we wanted to bring up, which was the martial law. So Mari is the one. Suspect music. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mari sunshine. Mari sunshine. Okay. Computer. Well. Okay. So I have an idea of what it is. Mm-hmm. I don't want to express how the, because yeah, I don't. I don't science. know exactly. Yeah. It's I don't know exactly mad. what it is. So <laughs> okay. what? What would you ex- like? Explain to me what it is that you know about and, the martial and Spitz, law. Because he looks like he's ready to jump. But go ahead, Mari. Okay. Well, martial law is basically like a law that, like, I guess the government because it, they're the people in power. <clears throat> would um you know like they're trying to establish something and this is all like it's conspiracy theories for sure like uh, maybe you've seen videos maybe you haven't whatever conspiracy um, theories were mighty sunshine so you <laughs> I... <laughs> I know right that's I'd, a watch. I'd watch <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a, a double net i mean uh what if no. it's like um Oxymoron. theories so it's um conspiracy corner this specific <laughs> one is basically like you know our government is trying to like make us make everyone in the nation follow a rule in this case you know you're wearing a mask you're keeping socially distanced right and trying to see like if you can follow that and Order. then 
right follow that order and then get into eventually something bigger you know like they'll start establishing rules that are that are i don't know stronger or more impactful or more right. like oh my god shut you know like that'll maybe scare you They'll it can put... be something of like a, a communist comp- uh, country like something like that is what she's oh, saying like, yeah, it's, it's something where the government just guys you're trying to tell everything. me that the government's trying to control yeah. us <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well uh, um, like a at, at least of my knowledge of it is of what she's saying. You know, like um, basically they want control and they want you to just surrender it, yeah, and just let them control, Be and dictate so what these you are tests. you should do. Right. And this these is are this, tests. these are like like the conspiracy theory behind all of this is trying to see how we react to shit like that when they make us say stay home, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Well, so we know how like, the white people were behaving because they were out here protesting because couldn't get a go, couldn't go get a haircut. You're right, but at the same time, you got to realize what I was saying too. At the same time, like about like how I didn't see planes flying out and like it was a ghost town. Lit- it, it was like a ghost people town. People listen. Literally. The point is that people they, listen. Right. Yeah, that, people that's, listen. That's the point. Right. 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 People um, listen, but there's crazy. some that women to want to go protest against it. So obviously, it's not going to be as easy as they think it's going to be. No, but it's an idea now. But see, it is that what you well, said right there lets you know about the actual like um like I ain't know like you know big activists and stuff like that. Like I love my people and stuff like that. But the revolution is something of where where, where that like was born from. You get mm-hmm. me what I'm saying? Like because like. What that showed was that, like, bro, we are big, like, cause I was even hearing that shit today. They're demonst, they was demonstrating on like, um, damn, what street that was? It, it's somewhere in Broward. It was, it was a street, it was a street in Broward, and somewhere in downtown Miami. So, what the revolution is about is that, like, they can try to control us as much as they want, but we are stronger in numbers. Mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. what the revolution is for. Yeah, you know, like yeah, so that's, sure. that's 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 a little bit of your. That's what that's what was happening this past week that I saw. Um, like on Saturday and Sunday, I was hearing that the protest numbers were like the highest that they have been, and it was I had already been like I think ten days that the protest started, so. Like how I how we've been saying the re- revolution is being revolution. televised. Like the, yeah. um the the wait let me just make this point real quick. The five ninety five in Broward mm-hmm. is like a five lane fucking highway, yeah. and they did a demonstration <clears throat> yeah, on that highway. Yeah. Oh so damn. So yeah. you know how impactful that is. Like I when I heard that on it, I was like, yo, what the. Yep. Be- be- like, yeah, I mean, that I saw, is big. Like, I also saw like them doing it on the bridges, and like they did one in New York yeah. on the Brooklyn Bridge. They also right. did one on and, the Golden and Gate they, Bridge, and yeah. it was just very like impactful. And then you see there's like videos in LA, and something I always talk about insecure on this podcast, guys. You guys, if you go, you, you, you don't know. watch this shit. Like it's, every time this I'm on show here, she is drops like that jewel. That, don't you it? Must like that show. Huh? <laughs> I swear. No, I'm saying <laughs> every time I'm on, she drops that jewel. And it's like, she's like shooting the shot like, Spitz, do it. Insecure, you better watch it. Insec- what Patrice is to you is what insecure is to her. Mm. Break it down. Claudia. So, okay, okay so ahead, give me the game. Um, <laughs> what I was going to mention is, well, this this week, the episode was, um, uh, is Issa and Molly finally having the talk after them having had an argument during um, a block party. So without getting really in too much into it, um, these girls have been friends for a very long time. And they end up having, like, miscommunication within their friendship. So they end up, you know, blowing up in one of the girls' most important nights, right? So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm saying that to say this. Um, well, okay, so Lawrence and Issa um, are technically back together, but they're not. So I'm going to fight my L- Lawrence and Issa case. Listen, y'all need to stop thinking that they're going to get back together because Lawrence is going to get a job in San Francisco and he's going to leave Issa. So... I don't care how cute that episode was. It ain't going to happen. Lawrence, go yeah. Fight about it in the comments. No, no, no. Yeah, it's not going to happen, guys. That's my final Who word on with? that. Lawrence but, or... <laughs> one, of the, one of the actors, um, his name is Kendrick Sampson. He is, yeah, Kendrick he Samson. he is one of the men who is leading the demonstrations that they're doing, like the protests and stuff that they're doing oh, in in Los Angeles. Very important. Yeah. So so to me, I I um that's one of the I've I've expressed on this show 
um, I mean, on yeah, on this podcast, so why I love this show. <laughs> yeah. And one of the reasons is, yeah, because of the storyline, but it's also because of what all of the actors and actresses are doing, like in real life. Yeah, in, in real, real life, because right. like Issa Rae, she ha- she Everett just Flex. started. Yeah, she just started her own record company. Oh, wow. Kendrick Sampson is like you know protesting, and he's yeah, he's being yeah, he's being like in the forefront of you know of the revolution that's happening right now, and he's using his voice and he isn't afraid. And another thing that um, I noticed was because that this week they touched on the topic of like mental health. Mm -hmm. And so he they did like a post interview um, after the episode and they basically like asked him, like, why did you feel like it was important to showcase the mental illness within like a black man? He's just like, because there is there hasn't been that representation. Yeah. You know, like there hasn't been um, because he goes on the on the in because what happens is he goes Issa. He doesn't talk to her for like a whole month. Right. And he tells her, oh, well, like, you know, I was going through something. Like, once they, they, like, reconnect or whatever. And then at that point, like, as a woman, you either have to accept it or not accept it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, he was going through some shit. It's fine. Yeah. Um, She decided There's that, you know what? Yeah, she decided <laughs> She decided at that point, like, you know what? I'm going to step back a little bit. Like, we're cool. They end up reconnecting, and she ends up finding out that he was bipolar and that he found out during that time. Oh, wow. So they talk about that and they bring that topic up. So Ooh, real quick, because before we leave, before we get too far away from this conspiracy corner, I think that this protest was probably a glitch in the system with this whole <laughs> Murphy. Uh, what was it? Law. Marshall Marshall's, Law. Marshall's Law. Because so, so it's the glitch because everybody was supposed to follow suit. And then this was just added, you know, it's what sparked the whole movement. You know, yeah. what happened yeah. RIP to George Floyd and, and, and all of his loved ones. Um, but yeah, this is like that glitch in the system. But so... What is someone to do when they go? Wait, hold on. Actually, when I said the ghost part, have you guys ever been with someone that has a, some type of a disorder, like any type of disorder, like any bipolar disorder, um, OCD, mental health. mental health? Yeah, mental health, OCD. Oh, oh, yeah, he oh, pretended um, to be five different men so he can have so, five different women. Um, Sociopath. So, so um, yeah. someone who was a real sicko. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know to say it like that, but. I, mean, I think we all probably do, and like um, maybe don't they really don't know, know it. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's. it's... What were we gonna say, Marty? I don't know. I just I just agreed with. <laughs> <laughs> Spitz, please carry the point. No. I, um. Well, what what I was gonna say was I just think that some some of the people that we run into like um don't really go through psychological evaluations as like um. I, well, it's not really a regular thing to go through a psychological evaluation. And also, if somebody's going through <laughs> it, like, do you saying? know like, they're going through it? Right, yeah, you never know. Like, unless they communicate it with okay, you. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Not well, all at least of in us my have that. Um, has been someone communicating it with me. Like, hey, right, okay. I have this, by the way. You know what I mean? I mean, I had a boyfriend once tell me something, but I don't know if it was, like, mental, mental related or not. Like, just that he had, like, something going on with him, like, right. that was serious. And, like, I, he told me, and I was like, okay, like, whatever, like, not a big deal, you know, like. Yeah, when we're that, all not when that bridge comes. We're all not. Yeah. If 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 yeah, you yeah, really want to be honest, we're all not geniuses, and we all do go through some 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 kind of thing. So we do yeah. have a certain kind of uh, a particular uh, disability, whether if it's like uh, but, but, not being able to like or figure diagnosed out a math or not problem, diagnosed. like on a dime and type shit or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or not like, how to or, spell restaurant, right? Or or, 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 or even it. putting the the um the uh, fucking apostrophe R E. You feel me? Like, when you're spelling, and you know, like, you got the fucking, you know, like, uh, and to correcting you girls that be there. posting that shit. God damn yeah, you. like, chill out. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying, it's, it's just certain things that you, you just don't know. Like, it's, it's all I'm saying, you know? You don't know what you don't know. Um, I'm glad that we talked about this topic because, um, one of the reasons that I heard about the martial law was because that what was supposed, what was going to be enforced if people continued to protest. That's how I got introduced to that's that. That's also like, yeah, yeah, that, that's what I heard. But I, I thought that was like Marshall's, yeah. Now that you say that, that sparked something. In yeah, that it was bank. like, they I were, wanted to say I something about that, that as well. That it was going to be like. <laughs> we ain't done with the conspiracy because, corner. Yeah, because like what it was. Yeah, to, Trump has spoke about it recently too. He's mentioned right. it. Yeah, cause like um something. Not yeah, that's cause podcast. that's where I was seeing it. I was seeing it on the news that it was just like he's going to enforce martial law, and it was basically yeah. like, like I guess like the military, will, like have the the military right will have the right to shoot, and like right. it was like something along those lines, and it was and it's like oh, how no. you were almost saying it, it brings it back to the point that he was saying it's like communist kind and of. And then my sister told me this really good point that was, can you sister. imagine yeah. if, if like. Okay, if the people that are appointed to like shoot their own citizens are not do they don't do it 
and they get together, and then it's like everyone against the government. <laughs> Got a sound for that. <laughs> Can you imagine if everybody just got along, if everybody was just kind to each other and everybody just loved each other and that was a greater power than Racism is a tactic. People. Thank you. It's a tactic so, to instill now, fear, man. to right instill now. fear in people. Mm. Um, All around. What I was going to even in on, even in non-black people, it's a fear. Racism is a fear that's projected on yeah. like so we can feel like oh and we need to be scared of this group of people. No, well, all the like, divisions, right? You just have to be like nice to each other and get along with each other, and that's a greater power that like nobody can, you know, take away from you. You just right. have to be kind. Yeah, and that's in the Bible. What are we gonna say, Spitz? <laughs> yeah, what else you wanna? Well, um, before we leave the corner, <laughs> what I was gonna oh, comment. On, what 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 I was gonna comment on is uh, people need to pay more detail into like uh, what she's talking about about the martial law, like um. I was seeing certain videos of like uh, bricks being placed at certain areas, like. Ooh. Oh. And um, <laughs> let me explain something to you. Like I do. Y'all know something I don't. I you do. didn't know. Oh, no. I do construction. Stage. I do construction. All right. Like so, I know what it is and what it's not. You understand me? What I'm saying? Like so, like. Yeah, when, when, when I seen Black that King video, <laughs> when I seen that video of basically like it was like brick, like 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 her homie said he was like, yo, it's it's no it's no construction around here. Like, why is it bricks right here? Because like there's no way in the hell like that costs money. You understand me what I'm saying? For 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 it to come from distribution to be put somewhere that costs money. You understand me what I'm saying? Yeah, so the if delivery. They, right. Yeah. If they put if even, that even is the there, material. it's there for a fucking reason. So just like those bricks was there, those bricks was there for fucking anarchy. Right. You understand me what I'm saying? And like, you know when I knew some shit. Pay was attention up? to detail, people. Is all. It, and also because, like the planted they, police it, it, cars as well. Right. And even um some of the police officers would Where be undercover and they would go into looting. the protests and start looting it. That um right. that um I think it was the an auto zone I seen. And, and then listen, it was a listen. Guy, like, he he was dressed in like all no black, black, breaking mm-hmm. the fucking glass. I'm gonna tell y'all something. If I'm out, camera. If I'm out and someone is like opening these motherfucking stores, I'm going in and get seeing what I'm gonna see. What I'm gonna get. So that's that's the thing because because there's also the that's Claudia Renee. I had like two. I had an Uber. No, my fault. I had an Uber and 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 the lady. She was from Detroit. I picked them up from the airport. Go Lions. And they was like they was looting. And they was like, I got me a lot of shit. And I was like, damn, like what the fuck? <laughs> like, Listen, good. I was like, oh, I'm I'm sleep. I know and how like, much. Yeah, you. I kn- you, you should have went out there. I'm like, damn, I'm. Listen, I'm, I'm this. I know. Like, I know I'm how much. Too, shit. I need to get my ass out. I know how much. <laughs> I know how much a comforter costs. I'd be My in Target. Like, oh, you a nigga? Come on, man. Get your ass over and get you some shit. <laughs> like, come on. Get some shit. But it was somebody... I was seeing some of the looting videos and someone said that they went to go get all this shit for their dorm. <laughs> <laughs> Got to remodel. Hey, that shit be tough Yo, there. motherfuckers was taking air, uh, air fryers. <laughs> Them things is, is hot Those in the streets are, right uh, now. I got an air fryer. No, it was 50 bucks. I got an air fryer for my birthday, gang gang. Mm-hmm. So we air just fryer joined that. My life. For real. Love it. Um, so that was really, that was good that we got to see the different corners of the martial law and what each of one of us has heard. Um, and it's, to me, I feel like, um, like what's to come. Okay. So I've been saying this since this whole, um, the COVID-19 started, like when I realized that it was serious is when I left Disney. Right. And so when I felt like what was happening is, you know, how like how sometimes in the movies when, and in a, a tornado movie, when like the people, they're like just looking back and the tornado's like right there. And like so, they try to escape the tornado. I feel like that's how it's been with, <laughs> with we're the virus. Escaping. Yeah, like we're escaping, but then the tornado just keeps coming. <laughs> that motherfucker ain't going away. Twenty twenty, y'all. And um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> shout out to the protest, but um, um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, like that Uh-oh. shit ain't helped this coronavirus. Uh-oh. Like, at a point. <laughs> yeah. Be real. Like yeah, you know, like shout shout out to y'all because y'all 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 doing a lot for the history, and I'm glad y'all y'all are doing this. But um, don't just be surprised be if it. It, you know, yeah, it spikes, you that's know some saying? that's something honestly nice. for me because I'm the type that like I would love to be in the front lines. And there was the video of this girl I cannot remember her name, but she had a basket, 
and she had a speaker in the basket with a microphone and she was just like playing the music in the background and she was like no justice no peace mm-hmm. and i was like oh i'll be right next to her jamming <laughs> <laughs> and, and, it's, and it, the thing is is that um because right. some people are like oh what well, people are, are trying of, are seeing this like it's a party videos. and i don't think it's a party it's it's a revolution and revolution it's different ways it can be through spoken word it can be through Facts. you know um mar- it can be through marching it can be through um even just doing the podcast Donating. like i feel like me speaking on speaking my on platform it. on you know You're doing what, like um that, and and i'm a part of do. the revolution in some right. way so yeah. i feel like however it is that your part is in this part of history is just beautiful but right. i do want to like how spitz was saying like shout out to all the people that have been protesting like that is very commendable and i remember seeing the history books when i was younger and seeing like pictures and stuff of protesting and like yeah. right now i'm seeing it happening in real life and i remember being younger and being like damn that would be so cool to do and yeah. now yeah and then now it's like it's <laughs> i i see it and i love it and i i think it's so beautiful but at the same time like i just i i, I number one i want i want to protect my peace because a, a part of me understands that i can possibly be the one to like get get lit <laughs> get lit get very passionate we were having a con- up, yeah right. me and me and Marty were having a conversation earlier and i felt myself getting angry not at her but just like at how the system is. Right. And so I just see that and I acknowledge that in myself. And that's something that we talk about a lot here. So I, I feel like I'm going to be the one to just get bucked. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be the one with the megaphone. <laughs> 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 like, and a boombox. Yeah, and a boombox. You're going to hear this. You're going to hear, you gonna hear, hear this piece. You're going to hear this piece. Exactly. So that's something that, um, but that's what that's what I commend all the, the people who have been doing it very peacefully. And um, we just like how we need people who are protesting, we need people who are just having the conversations at home. Right. You know, having the conversations at home, yep. having the conversation within friends in a podcast so that everybody can listen to because you just never know. I think the the word that you use is so beautiful and it gives me goosebumps every time I hear it like uh, revolution, because like um, when I used to like see this, like how you say, like could confirm, up I like see that, the goosebumps. Like, damn, like that's mm-hmm. that's crazy and stuff like that. And to be in the time. <laughs> That it's like it's like on our Instagram. Re- this is re- like yeah, like yo. When we're it, living this, we mm-hmm. really in the time of like actual like um, change, right? Change and 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 that's what's the good thing about it. Like and everybody wants change, and that's the good thing. So like um, I I, I love that word revolution. Yeah. I, love how I think if everybody it. if everybody does their part, the revolution's coming. It's that's right yeah. I, I, I exactly exactly you we you yeah we yeah we you sealed that everyone has with, to do their thing. You sealed that with you sealed that very perfectly. I agree with that. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and change gears, guys, because we do have some other topics that we wanted to talk about. Oh. <laughs> um, who wanted to introduce the first one? So basically, um, <laughs> uh, we talked about it right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can't right, remember right know. now. Um, we we talked about it and we touched on it a little bit. Uh, do with the mental health, uh, the mental illnesses and stuff. But coming as you are in a relationship, right? Mm. And um, when we speak on that, we what we really meant to say is, well, Spitz, why don't you take it from there? Actually, well, um, pretty much when you come in and in the relationship, let's say, um. You are who you are. You are who you are. Let's say you're a person that like um that uh that shoots fucking, you know, like fucking animals and stuff like that. Like like ducks. You like to hunt. You hunt you're a hunter, hunt. you're, you're a hunter. <laughs> Sorry about that. Animal uh, Peter, <laughs> Peter lovers, don't be in the comments on us. No. But you know what? Be in the comments on us. You, we need those you comments. Like, we need you those love you love to kill you love to kill animals. <laughs> so if if, if you are a like ha- uh, better hobby. Hunter. Yeah. Sorry, if that continue. makes you exotic, right, Joe? Hey, <laughs> hey. If that makes you a Joe, hey. Right? Dog, that man was a psycho. Keep that, keep that same energy. Keep that same, keep that same energy. Yeah. Like don't, don't, don't like um. Because when I was growing up, people all like. Let's try to get out of that same old cliche of like, oh um, she let herself go. Oh he let himself go. Right. And it's like. No, like let's like weight let's keep fluctuates, that same guys. Energy, you know, like let's 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 be but the that's same also person like we came. If they in, want you know? to. Well, I mean, if you want to, you know, it depends who you are. I think it goes back to like um um off off camera when 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 you're basically stating like um if you have that um basic connection with yourself, you know, it makes you happy to keep yourself up. It keeps you like happy that. You're that um 
that funny motherfucker when you come in the room and stuff like that. Yeah, and, that's yeah. and that's what attracted you your girl to you and stuff like that. Definitely. You know, like so and you keep that same energy. Yeah. And that's that that's basically what keeps yeah. the same the um the you know like um the chemistry going in the relationship Attraction. basically. Yeah. Um so uh, something that I just thought of right now because I do believe in a relationship that you should come as you are. One of the main reasons why for me um I guess for me right now, my main thing is I want to be so comfortable with myself that when another person comes into my life, it's just like, this is who I am. You either like it or you don't, period, right? Right. Yeah, but... But what? (laughs) (laughs) But, like, you also have to realize that you're going to accept the other person the way they are. Oh, well... And that you're going to have to mesh those two personalities Well, yeah, well, to me, to me, what I believe is that it's going to... To me, what I believe is is going to be, I come as how I am, like the person that I am. They come as who they are. And obviously, if we decide to be to get into a relationship, we're accepting each other for who we There's are. The yeah, yeah but the flaws there, and all. Do you ever think that there are going to be some things that you're going to have to, oh, I don't want to use this word, compromise, but... Mm. I mean, but we all compromise. I feel like um, with, with a lot of with, compromise. I know, but it should okay. There shouldn't be a should lot. Should it just be called compromise instead of relationship? But like one of the things that we were saying <laughs> earlier, guys, <laughs> let's, let's, bring, let's, bring, let's bring this back. We were saying how in a relationship, like for example, the whole smoking thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Like if you met mm-hmm. me when we started dating, you know. Oh, oh, but then that's all but you then, do is smoke. Yeah, but oh, then oh, the but, thing is, well, is that how about how about, about, like how, about how about how about this? How about a better a, a, a better habit? Or let's say I always cop the latest Jordans that come out, right? The Jordans or the shoes. I always every single I month Jordans. I cop a new pair of shoes. The person every single month I, I or cop or even a new the pair sports shoes. conversation <laughs> that we were having about uh, how of how um there's sometimes men who they love sports and they love going to sporting events. I'm a Dolphins fan. And then a Dolphins fan. I go to every game. I do this. I do that. And then the girl girl comes and tells you you can't go to a game. No, the girl in the beginning, she gets it. She's like, she tries to act like she's cool with it so that she can kind of like put up that front for the dude. Uh And then once they get into a relationship, she no longer likes it. Honey, I don't think we should go to those Dolphins game because it's actually cutting into our expenses and I think that we should probably get a house soon and, you know, get married and then, the, have kids but then that, that's like where that. the compromise conversation comes into play i don't think the person that um basically is is getting that uh that flack should um should try to uh, steer away from it because if he came in that way he should stay that way period and that person should not really try to he should them stay away that way if he because wants if to it. stay that way right but if she faked it she's the, she, if she faked it she's right, the problem she and just like how herself. she faked it he's gonna fake it that he actually wants to stop doing those things right. and then in turn he just does it behind her back and that's right. how relationships fail you're exactly. welcome <laughs> and that's why you guys can't exactly. keep a man <laughs> in the comments <laughs> My dog Francis. married. I don't know what you're talking about, and I decided oh, oh, to be single. In the comments, but he ain't talking about us, y'all. So, <laughs> Team so, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, another thing that we were talking about is basically like, yeah, like when it's uh, a, a, at the beginning stages, I guess a little bit of, of a relationship, mm-hmm. right? So, like how you're putting up with those things, and then later on, like the veterans to rookie Here, to vets. I'll give you one. Right? I'll yeah. Give you yeah. One. Go ahead, Maddie. Take I'll this. I'll personally over. give you one. <laughs> oh, on, a, on a silver platter. On a person. <laughs> Christian likes soccer. I know shish kebabs about soccer when I met him, right? Mm -hmm. And I told him that I've had relationships in the past that they've liked sports, whether it's soccer or whatever other sport. And it's like, oh, cool. Like, you like this, like, on my behalf, right? Right. And, like, I'll make an effort to try to know about it. But I I really don't care. Like, I really don't care about soccer. And I'm sorry. I love you, babe. But, like, I don't care about soccer. I don't care how much you like. Christian, we love you. Real Madrid. Yeah, no. You you know, like, and I let him tell me. I love Christian, but I won't watch soccer with him. Continue. (laughs) Cool. I'll watch it. it. So. (laughs) We will. (laughs) I told him from the beginning, like, oh, like, I think soccer cool. Like, I played it, you know, in school because I did for fun. But I, I will not go the lengths to watch a soccer game or to understand it. And then I told him, like, maybe if you teach me, like, I'll get the hang of it. Right. And, you know, and he's taught me. He's, like, explained to me, like, how well, the soccer league works. this is why Maddie's married. <laughs> Listen, that's but why what, you that's, put a ring on it. But that's because I, I was like, okay, I'll learn about it. Do I want to watch it? No. Do you want to watch it? Watch it. But that keeps you interested in him that something is like so interesting to yeah. him though, right? Like, yeah. Like basically he like, loves it. <laughs> like, all right, look, let, yeah. let, let, me, let me let me break it to you like this. Like um, oh, shit. him being interested into soccer, mm-hmm. right? Gives you an opportunity to be like, damn, like, fuck. 
like he doesn't really spend that much time in me, time time with me <laughs> but he actually like so does does he like soccer more than me like I that's don't question it. no but that's not the question that's okay. not the question it's, it's, <laughs> i was like where is this more, going yeah. it's, it's, it's more it's 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 more like a hold on can i can can i be can i be more interesting to him than soccer as intriguing more, as yeah, soccer right you're right to or, him you get me what I'm trying to say? Like I don't think when it was necessary, that question was answered for me. Can we get a bomb that from a dog? <laughs> um, <laughs> something that I was going to add to what Mari was saying, and I'll go back Chris, to. Let me see you, dog. Yeah, and I'll go let back to. see you, dog. I'm trying to do. I'll go back to the conversation that I had with my brother earlier this week uh, along the lines of like if I had a man who was like the type that like wanted to go to sports bars and mm -hmm. like, you know, watch the games and stuff like that, right. that I'll be the type that I'll be like, all right, I'll go with you. But there's going to be some times that I'm going to be like, I'm going to stay go. home. Yeah, I don't want to stay home because yeah. I, I mean, I don't want to go because I want to go do this. Like, I also feel like um, worse. Um, it, uh, I guess this can tie into like the relationships that we grew up seeing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're I mean, so used to it being like, that's... well, you can't do that anymore. So then you, the, so then you see like a, a parent of yours suppressing what they love to do for their partner. Yeah. And then so, it shouldn't be that way. yeah. And then so you see that, and then you're just like, well, that's what well, love if is. my partner doesn't, yeah, you you believe that that's what love is, and that's not what love is. Love is, is it really movie love? Love or is it your ego? That too, because you don't want something to fail. Transition I say, queen. Um, okay. I so speaking it, about that. I say it <laughs> well, well, before before we go there, I say it converts back to like um, basically you saying to yourself like, well, is it really love or is it isn't love? Yeah. And like you 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 kind of like like play that uh that devil's advocate and like yeah. you know like you, you you don't really know if you love this person or not even when you're in the relationship right yeah. and you're already saying like, that that's type why shit. you gotta get right with yourself first and mm -hmm. then think about somebody else that's the conveying that's message that's the moral of the story <laughs> that's a fact i mean um some i mean what's what's awesome for me is that both of my best friends are married <laughs> so i'm the single crazy girl <laughs> bless you you're allowed <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> you're allowed yeah and um one of my favorite things about that is that um they are both painting a different narrative of what marriage looks like to me because one of the things that i grew up seeing was like the relationship of my parents and you know even like my aunts and uncles some of them have been married for 20 plus years so i've seen that as well you know um, but then to see like both of my best friends in a relationship is just different because it's like this is someone that I'm super close with. The advice is different. You know, the the love is very different. Like when I see the relationships of both of my best friends, I'm just kind of like, oh, wow, like it would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like you know it would, would yeah, it like, would be cool. The right person, it is cool. Yeah, cause that's like, how I feel. cause like that's how I feel. Like when, when, um, like even just in the beginning parts of your and Christian's relationship, like I just always felt like, wow, like this is something super strong, and I admire it so much. You know, and this isn't. I, I didn't want to make it like you know and put the spotlight on you, but I just, I did want to showcase that, um, sometimes like I do have two friends, like. Cause I was thinking about that this week when I was chilling with Stephanie. I'm like, damn, both of my best friends are married, <laughs> and like they deal with my crazy ass. <laughs> like, and it's also important that you think that like just because we're married doesn't mean you have to get married. Oh yeah, no, I've no, I actually have never felt that, and it's um, I think it's in part because like I feel like your guys's partners are just like my friends, like you guys too. You know what I mean? Like, the way I see Christian and the way I see Jahira is just very, like, oh, but, you know, yeah, you're my friend. So I never I never see that line being crossed of, like, oh, I know about you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we, 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 we spoke about this before. Do you, do you um, and I would ask you, like, do you see your, um, your marriage as being, like, a, a movie love? Like, because, oh, like, I love um, a good lo love story. Because, like, um, my, my, my theory behind, like, movie movie love, like, rom-coms and shit like that or mm -hmm. whatever, romantic comedies and stuff like that, or just romantic movies in general, it paints a picture for people to think, like, um, okay, like, they, they, uh, they fucked up, you know, like, they'll, they'll, they'll paint a plot, like, they, like, uh, you know, like, argued or some, some dumb shit in the, right. in the beginning where they, like, fuck up or whatever and they're, they're not together no more. Yeah. And then, and eventually in the end, like, it's like, oh, it's a, 
happily ever after and they fucking get married and you know she dumps this fucking loser you know what i'm saying that she left him for or whatever yeah their like, long monologue and, and, she, and, and it makes yeah, you she think it makes back. facts and it makes you think as a um as a person growing up a woman or or male it makes you think to yourself like that's how love is because you watch these movies all the time and my my theory behind that is basically like it's not a happily ever after it's it's happily ever working like you have to work at the relationship like you have to basically work and keep it consistent <laughs> it's been preparing he's been shooting from the three he's been practicing yes. in the gym curry, curry. he, has he the said you hand. wasn't shooting with me in the gym curry, I <laughs> but, yeah, in the fourth I mean, quarter go to spits um did you want to go go first sure i mean other questions she's the one that's married yeah that's i mean <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know where to start. You uh, go and I'll just um, like, yeah. Okay, so for me, as far as like what you're saying, <laughs> it's funny because as I'm as I'm starting this sentence, we I'm spoke forgetting. about this off camera though. Um, but okay, so can you refresh my memory? Can you say what you just said real quick? Well, well, basically, it's it's like when you grow up, you see movies. Okay, rom coms. Got it. Right. All right, I got it. I got it. I'm right, right back. Right. I'm right Happily back with you. Ever okay, so I'm a Forever I'm working. a really right. big like. I love, love, love movies. Same. They right. are so beautiful. They are so, like, passionate. And they They're great. Give us the and idea. they definitely give us the idea of, like, oh, man, this can happen. After a couple of times <laughs> of my life not turning out like brown sugar, I no longer believe <laughs> brown sugar. Brown sugar was a good movie. <laughs> People watching. It, no, the thing is, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's, like, once I noticed that my life, like, not even just the relationship part, but as far as the writing for Double XL, right. um, you know, the whole, ri- like, the whole, um, fine, yeah, the, the love for hip hop the other right. partner having the love for hip hop eventually yes the person that I ended up dating did love hip hop but it wasn't the same thing as much as yeah. I loved it and even with like Disney princess movies like all of the Disney princess movies are based on love right. and the princess eventually finding love kids movies yeah, people kid- Listen, Dude, we are trained sure. from a young right. very age that love is magical yeah. that like a, and it is but it's not always like it's that. not yeah it that it's it, it is a very ma- ever working i feel like yeah right, i feel like we'll see. i feel like <laughs> i feel like it's um it, it's what what they teach us in these movies is just so is so wrong and it sucks that as adults we have to we're kind of almost re-see these things and right. be like this isn't how it works and that's one of my be- yeah that's one of my beefs was insecure right. so insecure i love this show it's a really good show but something that um i it's i love one of the reasons why i love this show is because it reminds me of my i feel like it's almost like a mirror of my life on certain things on some parts of like a relationship and then it's just like that's not true like like what like something that's happening right now it's like it's not true that's not how it works because it right. didn't work like that for me exactly. you know and as much as like um they're so good and the romantic gestures and like all of these things like if we can even look at like how i met your mother and like how even that whole show transpired and everything that happens i don't know if there's any how i met your mother fans there but like with him and robin and how they just went through that whole crazy transition of like to end up being together like in how many years and it's like does it really work that way you, all right, what you're saying just made me think about Power's oh. ending mm-hmm. because, like, me being as a Power fan, I watch it all the way through the ending, right? And the ending God basically is, um, spoiler alert, people, his son kills him. All right. Now, Wait, going back to... Ghost is dead? Going, going back to the happily ever after, you as a, you as a, a common watching person, movies, series, whatever. Mm-hmm. You're thinking the ending supposed to be happy. Ha- happy. That's like, why I'm against you know? them getting ever... back together. So, so when that when I got that ending, I was it's not so real. pissed because I'm like, yo, this is this is not the ending I want. Like, but at the in in actuality, why wouldn't his son kill him? You get me what I'm trying to say? Like, it's because... it's against the law. It's real. <laughs> Happily <laughs> ever working is what I'm trying to tell you people. <laughs> like, loves like that working, phrase. baby. No. You got to work. <laughs> Wait, you got to okay. work at it. So I, I no. wanted to add this before someone else continues because I don't want to forget and I want to finish my point. So um, thinking of, like, the romantic comedies and stuff like Rom-coms. that... You, you you fall in love with the idea of the love and, like, all of these things and that you end up happily ever after. Um, but at the end of the day, like... 
just like how life is very different and how our paths and everything go very differently like our love lives are the same thing like you just never know what's going to happen yes. you never know that yes. and sometimes even yes. in the moment sometimes even in the moment like right now like i may be feeling like oh my god this is never going to happen because so. your high school love is not like your forever love exactly you know? like you're evolving into you're, what you evolve you and that's what i think because everybody wants this couple to get back together and i'm just like no you guys have to be a little bit more realistic like because yeah. in real life it doesn't work that way nope. and that's what i'm hoping that the show does so that they can show the realistic side of what honestly really does happen because yeah. you they don't always end up together like the couple that you want to end up together sometimes doesn't always end up together like i have friends that don't won't give up my old relationship like come on continue you know, you, you know where <laughs> i think that shit starts from it starts from your lying ass parents telling <laughs> bitch, <laughs> listen. Hey, telling you it's a fucking, telling you it's a fucking Santa Claus. Like you lying bastard. You don't even give. Come on, man. Like, it bitch, listen. Hair. Like wrestling. I used to watch wrestling. Like when I found out it was bullshit, I was like, come on, man. I wasted all them. Years. I used to you go to school and be like, man, what I the was rock watching is two hours. Cooking. I was watching two hours of bullshit. <laughs> God damn it, like, they got me. A lie. Y'all gotta remember, we are live from the young, from the get go. Yeah, so you telling me that giddy. that Steve <laughs> uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin didn't actually w knows how to kick ass? He like know that was not beer. That was like <laughs> fucking uh, uh, what, what, uh, ginger what it is like acid water like <laughs> <laughs> you know, type like, shit. Like Perel, come on, bro. Like we, <laughs> we need between to, the lines, yo, people. We like the kids that are advanced are the ones that are not lied to. It's like, look, I'm buying you these. Preach. Kids. I'm not. It's no the. the don't believe that bullshit you seeing on Disney Channel. You can watch it all you want, but it ain't no fucking Santa. I'm buying you these fucking gifts. You give me what I'm trying to say? Like, that's yeah. the problem. We are so taught. Here's Santa Claus, Daddy. Right, like, we, we taught some <laughs> bullshit from the start. What's kind of. Well, uh, like R. Kelly this, said, use your. <laughs> oh, shit, this nigga. No, do not, do not reference, reference R. Kelly. On this show. Especially like, on the that interview people. that he, he should have never that. done. Use your common sense, people. <laughs> Our common sense is telling us that you fucking little 14 year old. Right, so <laughs> um, is there another topic? What was there something else that we were forgetting? Yeah, we have a couple things, uh, but we should, just, we should just save it for next episode. I think, I though. think if um, you told me the time that we have, and I think we can go a little over just so we can. All right. So the but... next uh, thing that we were saying was um, basically uh, judging people on their past relationships, you know, like uh, them coming in either with like a body count or you at least probably knowing their ex or the people that they frequent. Um, yeah. Judging them on that. What was the other one? Is there another one? Uh, OK, so then uh, also getting broken up with uh, is just not uh, an emotional thing. It's an ego thing. It's an ego driven thing. Um, I think we can go ahead and talk about the first one and then wrap it up. No. Yeah. Um, so yeah. it was like your past relationships. Mm -hmm. Judging people judging on judge. their pa on their past, yeah, relationships. I think you shouldn't. I don't think you should either. That's yeah. a no, Bob. I think like. If All you right, hold on, man. Let me cut, man. We can't. I, if we go waste these five minutes, then let's waste. Right. No, no, or, or do these There's five no minutes. Waste. He, yeah, he yeah, took okay, his but, headphones we, we, off. We ain't gonna wait, wait, waste these five minutes. That's real easy in theory to say. Yeah, I'm not gonna judge nobody. This is the same thing. If I met a girl with Tourette's, I'm gonna be down. It's okay. You know, she looked good. Hey, man, how she look? Facts. On her past or on her right? past relationships. On her past or on her, uh, either or on the past or the past relationship. It's easy to say that I'm not gonna judge. Well, look, on the that. past. All three of you the... guys have said no. We're easily saying I'm, not gonna, judge, say I'm not gonna judge. No, on, that. on your past relationships. Okay. So the no on okay. your past no. Well, I mean, on your past, well, well, okay, okay, okay. They're but, two I mean, different things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't wait, know how wait, we got wait, to the wait, wait, past or is this, I is think this relationships. This is just past, past relationships. Okay. Yeah, I think, past relationships. I think it's more along the lines of like, you can say whatever you want, but it's really more driven towards the women, no matter however much you try to like dictate it. Because am I right or wrong, right? You as a woman, right? You're not really like, like kind of like worried about not, not, I'm, I'm not saying, uh, of course you are, but you're not really going to sit up there and your first thing, you know, frame of mind and be like, oh, this, this guy has been with a lot of girls, right? Yeah. But like us males, us males, like no matter however much you try to like not understand this, like, like our, our ideal is basically like how many body counts you got. Yeah. You understand me what I'm saying? So, so does it so, matter to you? So wait, 
Well, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get that point. Like, yes, guys. Well, he 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 he, he 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 said no I'm, in the beginning. I'm setting it up. I'm setting it up. He said like, no. So, so, um, so it's okay for you to have. A so no 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 no. I'm trying to set it up. I'm trying to set it up. Grab up the point, then Spitz. Bring the point to the point. Well, um, if you if if you if you think about it, like that that that's basically that everybody basically judges a woman. Yeah. On how many like body count she has yeah. her past and stuff like that sorry okay. um as a male as a male it go it converts back to we can even knock two and bir- two two birds on one stone Spitz. it goes back to an ego thing yeah oh, but, but it's, oh, a yeah, e- it, it's, it's an ego, ego thing because exactly because you're right as an ego thing because even if you're not judging because of the past about the body count you're judging them on the past of what that person looked like right. right you're comparing to see like oh is this bitch better than me or is this bitch not better than me right can i top this bitch or can i not can, right. can, can this girl still come into his dms and stop what we got i mean if right. you're just trying to fuck then who cares no 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 no, no. <laughs> well, but i mean it's, i don't think it's, it's i think it's no, a little no, no, different it, what they're talking about it's more it, 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 it's more in the details of like it's like all right look um all right, man. I'm 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 gonna bring it back to the point where like um I'm I'm thinking about yo shout out to Preachy O'Neill because like a lot of these like it, it was driven from him. All right, pizza. Um, all right, go. It it just goes back to the point where if if you were younger, you. if you were younger as a male, you know you got this one girl, and I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Like in middle school or whatever, like she was like promiscuous. You understand me what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. so she did a lot with a lot of guys or whatnot, right? Mm-hmm. Shout out to her. I hope you're still doing well. What we're saying is. Think about it. Think about it like this. How many, how many, how, how, how many times have you seen this girl in a relationship? You understand me what I'm saying? Like around that, like, uh, you like know, what's interesting time. that you, you mentioned that Spitz is that you say that, but half them bitches are married. Right. With kids, see, see, and and that's what I'm trying to go back to. I'm like, trying to go back to the point of like the game. People. You thinking you're you're thinking that that person like you're 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 more. It's an ego thing mm-hmm. that you're thinking to yourself like I can't be with it. like because you're young. But when you get to a point of like that's what I'm trying to say like because you're trying to ask me like what do I think about that? My personal opinion on a person like a woman because this is specific like a woman's past. Like her sexuality, anything that she's doing with her body shouldn't be judged because you would want her to express that towards you. Mm-hmm. And your ego is something that makes you feel like insecure. And you're, you're, you're thinking like, damn, like, man, she's she's giving off that same energy. She's yeah. giving off that same energy, energy to somebody else. <laughs> right? Like, oh, damn, I, I'm fucking up. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, no, you're speaking too much of the I, truth. The I mic want, almost shook. I want to add something, but go ahead, Hog. Go ahead. That bears the question exactly to this. Would you date a porn star? Well, it has to depend on our circumstances. So if I met this person... But, but this see, per- if, former if I, porn star. Hold former on, porn star. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Porn star, I'm, I'm, like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go down the line. I'm trying to go down the line. <laughs> She's getting hot. If I met this person... The hot room is hot. <laughs> if, if I met this person, if I met this person, right... And we have this because like my my like I don't judge nobody on their past. I judge them off energy. Mm. So if I got that energy with her, it wouldn't matter if she okay. was a porn star or my not. Turn. You understand what I'm saying? So you grew oh, up a certain it. way right. and you and you believe certain things. And one of those things I'm going to go ahead and say, because we're all thinking it, is like, who wants to date a porn star? Like, that's kind of nasty. Like. Sucio or whatever, you know. But you hold you, on, you hold on. That would be the, the typical finish. answer, let me, let me uh, you know, like response. Hold on. Dog finish. You let grow dog up, finish. you grow up thinking that porn stars are not normal, right? So because you already have that mentality inside of you, then of course you don't want to date a porn star. If you right. tell me, oh, you're, a, I'm a porn star. You want to date me? Like, no. Okay, All right. No. L- let me press it up in this. Let me press it up like this. Maybe, maybe, maybe to help it out. Three months in, four, former, <laughs> four more. Former, former, it's not now. You former. Met, you, for, thank you. You met them somewhere else. You met them elsewhere at a new job, at whatever, at a function, from a friend, through a but friend. But it doesn't change the way that I was grown up, like, like in, raised. Yeah, like, the way it's that I like, was raised. No, 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 like, but, 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 but listen to where he's directing it from. He's directing it from, like, if I met this person, right, and it was a former porn porn star, right, and me and this person has that energy. Click. Mm-hmm. Like, we I'm click. not... Um, like I, I'm so I think secure. that if it's meant to be, I think I'm, that if it's I'm meant so, to be, I'm so you're secure. It don't bother like you. Give me t- yeah, yeah. Spitz, hold on, because you the same person who's come on this podcast <laughs> talking about how you pay attention to. 
can I finish my point? Go ahead. You yes. pay attention to I'm listening. Okay. We're listening. So you've been the same person who has been on this podcast and has said that you pay attention to when a woman has a certain amount of followers on Instagram because Facts. you will not pay attention to them. So I'm not comparing <laughs> that Facts. to a, being a porn star, but how is it that you will be able to be okay with somebody to have that many bodies on them? Fucking, as opposed to them having the bodies that uh, on Instagram. It's about the pH balance, right? Or what them hoes be saying? Listen, I'm gonna t- I'm, 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 I'm gonna explain it to you in, 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 in a better source. <laughs> to me personally, like if I was like um, thinking of that sort or whatever, like it's it's how we say about the judging, like like how I was like yesterday, I ate. <laughs> Mac chicken, yeah. Oh, okay, like, okay, okay. Today I ate for real. <laughs> to, 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 you, you know, today I'm eating a Whopper. You give me what I'm trying to say, like you know, like and I can eat and, and I can eat and I can eat a Whopper for the next three weeks. You give me what I'm trying to say. You're nasty. It's, I would judge you I'm, more on that than on your body count. <laughs> no, I'm just using. <laughs> I'm just using a metaphor. All right. I'm just you know what? Metaphor. We are very like, judgy <laughs> animals. And that's that. No, that's using, very true. We are. But what I'm saying is, but what I'm saying is, I'm using a metaphor. Like, no, if I, I, if, yeah, I understand. If, 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 if I was thinking that way, it's different of what I'm thinking now because, like, what I'm saying is, like, is like, oh, I was like insecure in that point to think, like, damn, like, if a woman does have a certain amount of followers, like. Like fuck, like she's this, that, and the third. Really? You're talking about insecure but, spits. Secure right, spits. Exactly. Oh, but, but, my dog changed a couple. Spits. I feel we, you. That was we, a couple episodes ago. I feel but you. We all, that was but, one, but we all. Ago, Claudia. But we all. Longer, longer than that. <laughs> but we all need to be secure, and we all need to, you know, come to a realization. Like why, you know, like ask yourself why. You yeah. Know, you understand? Like why would I judge a woman on her amount of followers? Like is that the dumbest shit in the world? Okay. Yeah, because I, I be feel ju- like I feel like you I could. I would be judged on followers too. Is what I'm. Is it, kind of what I'm going. Okay. Well, but not everybody. Sword, but not everybody. Yeah. Because that that's the thing too is that there there is um certain aspects. Okay, the reason why I even brought up that conversation was because he did say that, but also because as a woman for myself, like I'm not a porn star, but I do have a certain amount of followers, and I do have, I don't want to say fans, but there are people who consistently DM, appreciate yeah, you. appreciate me, and however it is that they appreciate me. So how is you that my say it, appreciate? <laughs> You hear they say it? You hear they talk about appreciate, appreciate DK. I like it. I'm just I like saying, it. I like, it like well, because she she gets it. She she knows what it is for real. You know, like she she knows what it is for real. Like I, I I'm not saying that. Like I didn't wasn't the one who said it. Right. But um yeah she's she because she knows she knows what happens, and so for me it's kind of it's kind of just like um okay so yeah so the porn star of course that's very different. It's super different. I'm not saying that oh, I'm a porn star, Jimmy but at the Garoppolo. same time, at the same time, I do have a certain amount of followers. And like how you said, there's the appreciation. Right. So then that ends up happening. And then so I, I not that because I don't have control over what people, you know, do to my Instagram, say to my Insta, like what they DM me. I don't have control over that. So then it goes back into the whole thing. Like, is he going to accept that? And then for me, that's not an insecurity, but it's almost like I don't want them to know my Instagram because I don't want them to see the amount of followers that I have because it's like, holy shit. What? All right. Look, I'm going <laughs> to go back to this. Right. You see how you said that? Fuck followers. Right. Okay. What if you're talking to a guy you really like? Right. And you get into details, right? And you say, <laughs> you say you had like, um, like your body count was three, mm-hmm. right? It's four, but continue. <laughs> four, <laughs> right? Four, well, four, the fantastic four. Your right. body count is too high for that person in particular. You understand me? What I'm saying, like. What's I'm too saying many? is, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's more along the lines of that person's like, yeah, fault. It goes back to like the it, it ain't the, it was ego. the body count is what I'm trying to say. That, yeah. That's what I'm trying to get it's at. Ego. Every it's girl count. that right. you've dated, have you known their body count? Particularly, no. Because... Because it didn't matter. Yeah. That's why. I never, honestly, the guys that I've dated, the guys that I've dated too, I never knew, I never cared. Yes, okay. it doesn't matter. I don't so, care. Like, so, are you going to put it on me or not? Th- 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 
Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, so why wouldn't you date the porn star, right? Is that, so that, is that, I mean, no. Really I, to, to me, right, 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 to me, listen. Right, 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 I don't have a right, problem right, with that. I've seen some porn videos, right. and I wouldn't mind it. Like, I'm trying to get a review too. That's what I'm right, saying. Right. Right. That, right. That, that, that's all. Right, but then we, we just had a 10 minute conversation about some other shit, and now y'all want to date a porn star? No. Obviously, we were we were driving the point home. For me, my whole thing was when he said that he would date a porn star, but I remember him specifically Gosh, talking about right. motherfuckers' his follower account. Are we talking about chicken me and feel beef? some type of way the, because yeah, I'm like, exactly. holy shit. Chicken and beef. Yeah, 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 the chicken follow- and beef. The followers uh-huh. thing. And, and also another thing, because really with the pur- purpose of why I mentioned that is basically because the ego-driven thing, right? Oh, mm-hmm. this person has had sex with me. Did, have they had better sex with me? Have they had, you know, are, are, are they still in love with someone else? If you they're going to be with I, you, this, you're going to find out. out. Mm-hmm. If they're right. still with you, then your answer is probably right there. Yeah, they're still with you. Ego, let it go. Mm-hmm. Ego, my Lego. <laughs> ego, my Lego. Ego, let it go. Lego, my Lego. I think with that, um, I think we're good enough to uh, wrap up the episode, guys. Phones have dropped. People. Guys, <laughs> it has been a pleasure having each and every single one of you guys on. Doctor? I I appreciate it. Woo woo. So Doctor. much. Good session. Good session. Doctor. Good Spin. session. Doctor. Oh, finally. Since you're my brother. Oh, you know what? We forgot to talk about. Um, oh, well, we did talk about the whole birthday celebration, but I don't feel like. Barely. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Right. Um, But yeah, so shout it was just Steph. it was just it was cool. Amazing. Yeah. Shout out to my sister for doing that. That was really cool. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys for being there. It was I counted the people that were so actually great. there and it was 13. So it was a really good number. Nice. Um, It was nice. Like how um you guys were saying um to just be around the people that like, you know, like without really being scared for me. Another thing that I enjoyed, too, with it was it was basically everybody that I went to New York with. Plus Spitz. Yeah. <laughs> he should have been in there. And, Clo- and Clo he Money was there. there too. So everybody oh, got to be Shout out to Kevin. Hey, Kevin. And Kevin. And Kevin. Sorry, and, 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 exactly. came and the little here. one too that came. And Abby. <laughs> so it was really dope. It was really cool to see. It was really nice experience. And something that um my birthdays are um important to me, but something that I love I love, and I don't know if it's because, like, I just love the attention. <laughs> but I love that people love to celebrate me. And they're so willing to, you know, um, because in a time like this. Because when people are loved, like, yeah, there's no problem Gemini, celebrating. Gemini, yeah, Gemini. exactly. Um, exactly. So that, that, that to me was just like, oh, shit, these people, the like, we're in the middle of a pandemic. And they were still willing to come over and mm-hmm. still vibe. And be able to instill that trust within that we all knew, you know, like, I, I knew I was just like, okay, so whoever doesn't feel safe is not going to come in. That's fine. Cool. That's all good, you know? Um, but I was just very happy to see everybody who did pull up. So that was really exciting. And um, we I got to blow out an Annie and Co. candle for my birthday. So shout out to Yee. Annie and Co. Woo-hoo. My favorite candle company, Black Owned. Mm-hmm. Poured in Brooklyn. Um, you so see yeah. it. Yeah, so yeah, so um, shout out to you guys again one more time. I wanted to say thank you. Um, I wanted to shout out, I, I never do this, I always do it in the comments, but shout out to my audiovisual house 600 for being the best producer of the podcast. <laughs> and with that being said, this is a girl, Clyde Renee on your airwaves. This is the Ambition Hour podcast, and for the 124th time in the motherfucking row with the homies. Yeah, I don't see you guys. Let me take pictures.